Five o'clock. Starting the presidential traverse. Three and three quarter miles to Madison Spring Hut. It's our first stop. Then up to Madison Peak. Official time, 510. Five, two hours. Ten. No big deal. It's telling us to stop. The weather ahead of this is the worst weather in America. Many have died from the exposure, even during the summer times. The weather's bad, turn back down. We're not fucking turning back. Luckily, it turned out to be a decent day. Two hours, 3.4 miles in. Elevation? Probably around 3,500 foot gain at the moment. Trudging. Two hours and 40 minutes. Madison Hut, have done Madison, heading up Adams. Jesse is setting the pace. Between Adams and Jefferson, 1035, we have found snow. Just came from over there. Mount Adams in the distance. We're at Jefferson Peak, third one out of nine. Two more to go to uh, Washington. And it's all downhill from there. Currently 11 o'clock. Sons of Stark making the track. Twelve ten, whatever. Yeah. Twelve oh eight oh five. Twelve oh eight oh five. There's the cogra. Uh, four, one, two, three. One, two, three. Go ahead, right, get in there. Ready? One, two, three. Plenty of your flies down. Mount Washington Summit. One o'clock, hour behind schedule. We're an hour behind. I'm surprised. I had one just died and I lost it. <laughs> Lunch at the top. So we used to start our descent. It's around 150, 1350 at Mount Washington Peak. We're heading down. Crawford Path. What's that? Passing Lake of the Clouds. It is 2.30. We left Mount Washington around 1.50. 40 minutes. 1.5 miles to the Lake of the Clouds hut. And gonna just blow right by it and keep going to finish this thing. Let's drink it. I'll drink it. There you are. Yeah, well. Don't. Stagnant water. Maybe it's called Lake of the Clouds because you can see the clouds reflecting in it all the time. Well, we thought it looked like a cloud. Peak of Mount Washington. Wow. Sometimes it's in the clouds. Just came down. Oh, like clouds are. It's many a theories. Slight error. Tell the camera. We, we quoted the pond of the clouds. 
looks like a little bit of a weather gathering information station and there's the lake someone for a swim that's pretty small too air quality research do not disturb stop there you head is the worst weather in America many have dived there from exposure even in the summer turn back now the weather is bad okay top of Mount Monroe 315 weather's holding out <laughs> Unclear on the peak situation. Pretty sure this is Jackson that we just went over, which would be peak seven of nine. Four o'clock. Three fifty actually. We don't want to sell ourselves short. I think that's Eisenhower. And then Pierce. That one. Sitting up on here in Eisenhower, about 445. 435. 35. Don't want to sell ourselves short. Sun's a beaming. It did rain for five minutes. But uh, we're nearly there. It's the last big hill to get over. 520. Somewhere between Eisenhower and Pierce. The miles are. Melting away now. One peak left. All downhill after Eisenhower. That dirty president. Making good progress. Morale is high. Temperatures are high. Feeling good. I gotta say. Thank God for these walking sticks. They're great. I think I finally figured out how to use them. Come to the peak of Mount Pierce. 535 took us 12 minutes, 12 hours to go from base to all the peaks. Probably another hour and a half to walk out of here. Three miles. Not as great a view as some of the others, but there you have it. Yeah. All nine. My favorites, Monroe and Eisenhower. Yeah. And Washington. Top three. Route 302. 0.2 miles left. Not going to make it. To completion. I think we might just stop. I think I lost three toenails. We camp here. I'm using bug repellent. Oh, there are bugs? We have officially completed the Presidential Traverse. Nine peaks. 9,000 foot elevation gain in 14 hours. Appalachian Mountain Club Highland Center. Just finished the whole traverse. 7.30 now. I finished 10 minutes ago. It took 14 hours and 11 minutes. Nine peaks. Where'd you come out? Right here? 9,000, 8,500 foot elevation gain. Around 20 miles. We came out right up there at the end of the Crawford Path. It was like a little route that takes you to 302. So just a little recap and some tips, pointers for people interested in doing the hike. Uh, we started off the Appalachian Trailhead off Route 2 around 5 in the morning, uh, starting from north to south. So we went up Valley Way to Madison. You start at the Madison, or you get up to the Madison Hut, um, kind of went in there, got the weather report. It took about two hours to get up there. It's a four-mile distance. You go up 4,000 feet. Then from there, you do a quick half-mile duck off, peak Madison, come back down, then join the Gulf Side Trail. That takes you to uh, Adams and Jefferson, and then you continue on that trail, and then you hit um, Mount Clay before finally getting the final stretch to Mount Washington. Uh, that was a good little stint. That whole thing to get to Mount Washington took about eight hours. Started at 5 a.m., and we were up to Mount Washington Peak by like 12.50.
So that was a decent little trek. We were ahead of schedule, behind schedule. We thought it would take seven. Took a little bit longer. Took about a 30, 45 minute lunch break up top of Mount Washington. Met our folks up there. Then continued the rest of the way, um, hitting Monroe, then Franklin. Uh, Franklin's along the trail. So we went down the Crawford Path to Lake of the Clouds. So at first, then from there, your next peak is Monroe. That's a separate uh, summit loop. Then back down. Franklin is right along the Crawford Path. You basically go right over it. We didn't even know we summited it at the time. Then continue on. Uh, Eisenhower has another summit loop. And then Pierce, you get to a point where the Crawford Path either splits down or you can go to the summit of Pierce and then take a separate cut down to the Mitzpah uh, hut, which we did. Um, didn't really add too much, so you could do Pierce, point mile, one miles up, come back down Pierce, and then finish on the Crawford Path, and that'll save you about a half mile, um, which probably would have been helpful because the knees were feeling it uh, in the last uh, last two hours of the hike. Um, but good hike, totally doable. We're not super professional hikers or anything like that, but we were able to accomplish it no problem. Uh, like I said, it took about 14 hours. Uh, we I had about 60 ounces of water on me. There were plenty of refill stations, so that was ample. Um, I used the White Mountain Guide put out by the Appalachian Mountain Club as a, as a reference to kind of plan the trip. Also comes with plenty of maps. So you have the map for the presidential range. Um, definitely have a map. Definitely do some prepping. Um, bring plenty of gear because the temperature went from hot, sweating, to pretty cold and windy, uh, depending on whether you're going up a peak, down a peak, etc. So um, be prepared. It was definitely a good hike, worth doing, and uh, definitely doable. Keep an eye on the weather because it can get pretty bad up there pretty quick. And uh, thanks for watching. Enjoy.